Now, if you're a regular on my channel, you know I came on earlier this offseason, matter of fact, just a few weeks back, and wondered out loud while looking at film if Montez Sweat could be the next big thing in the NFL, if he could take that next step into elite status. In that video, I showed a whole bunch of clips of how he was, you know, Mr. Almost Gotcha. He does a lot of things that don't show up on, on, the, uh, on the stat sheet. But he's an unbelievable athlete, and I'm telling you, this guy is on the brink of big things in the league. And this right here, this is a contract year for him, so I expect a humongous year out of this. And let's just say I wasn't disappointed in week one. Now, in this year's draft, the Cardinals took big left tackle Parrish Johnson Jr., a guy... I looked at his film, I was, you know, I was thinking, gosh, man, this guy is great, but I figured he might need a year or two to get right, but his prospect status was so much that he definitely was a top 10 pick, and it's just his luck that he got Montez Sweat week one in the NFL. His rookie introduction was Montez Sweat. On this play right here, Montez's speed to power move is just too much for Paris Johnson coming off of this edge right here, and he gets in there and just strips the ball right out. Now, see, this is exactly what I wanted to see for Montez Sweat right here. Strip sacks are the best. I don't care what nobody says. Now, in this play, Tez lines up on the other side of the line, but he gets the same result. Except on this play, he works to gain leverage and then just grab and dumps this guy. And the rest is history. He grabs Dobbs and there it is right there. Those long ass arms reaching out and grabbing you, you're not getting away from that. Dobbs thought he was going to slip past, but oh no. Those big ass hands and arms are not getting past. This young man single-handedly kept us in that game yesterday and, and gave us the spark that that defense and that the team itself needed at the most opportune time. I mean, which is exactly what franchise type players do, which is exactly what players who get paid the type of contract that Montez Sweat is probably going to get. I love the way he's able to, to contain this play. First, he, he goes in and he contains the quarterback, and then he goes out to the edge. He kind of overruns the play, but then with his long-ass arms again, makes the play. You watch it back from this angle. The amount of speed that this young man has is un believable Like I said, he overruns his play a little bit, but those arms are so long that there's no way that that young man is getting away from him, especially when he cuts back and he doesn't even realize that Tez is still there. Sometimes I'm still mesmerized at the speed of this guy. But you can just see it right there in the backfield. And that speed essentially makes it hard for uh, you know teams to run around the edge that he's on. Like right here, Connor could not get around that edge because Tez was over there holding it down. And it didn't even look like Tez was really holding that edge down, but he was. I mean, look at that. Completely sheds his blocker, makes the tackle. Obviously, I want to see a lot more out of the offense on game day, but Montez Sweat, I mean, this guy is a complete freak show, and he's getting better every week. Let's hope that Jack Del Rio continues to let him go after the quarterback. We need this guy to let loose and go nuts up in Denver this week. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Y'all take it easy. Peace.